Hello everybody, this is Arlene once again and we're going to start on a different, um, a different carving today. I'm just going to wait a few seconds for people to pop into the room. Hello, hello. Alright, let's see where we are with time. Alright, hello everybody. We're getting started here. Let me get situated and all that good stuff. All right. Um, this is, hi Jen. This is our new project. This is the one we did last week and I went ahead and painted it purple and red, and hello Jane, hello Dean, um, and I just put dots over it. I'm kind of into the dot mode, so to speak. Now, I don't have a, a pilgrim's hat on him. I might try to do one, and then I'll come back later in the year to, oh good, I'm glad, Dean, uh, that you got your package. Um, this here is uh, with a regular hat. You can make the hat black if you want, but I thought gray might look good. So we're going to just jump into this uh, right away. I already marked off. They all start the same. Hi, Danny. Um, they all start the same way. What I usually do here is I try to make the circle around here first. So we have an idea where, where to wrap that seems a little easier for me than trying to and then wrap the the hat around the nose just seems a little easier and then we go to the back here and do the same thing and all that good stuff all right so let's do that the feet are going to be on either side today um, instead of in the front like we did with this guy here. So we're going to go ahead and um, start. <coughs> Sorry about that. We always start with the... Um, hello, Nina. Uh, hello, Elizabeth. Um, we're always going to start with a hat. So we already drew our nose and our hat on, so we're just going to do our stop cut at the top here. All right, make sure you have a little v parting tool or a V tool is also recommended. Yeah, it's been an interesting week. I know some of the parts of the country got a lot of snow. So uh, we lucked out a little bit. We got snow and then we got rain and freezing rain and everything's frozen over again now. Tomorrow should be up in the 40s, so it should be okay. Hello, Joanne. <laughs> Thanks for remembering. Um, okay, now we did each corner, and we're doing our little um, Thanksgiving, since I had missed that because <clears throat> of my arm. I'm going to take a, a, a V tool. Uh, we're going to follow the line that I put on here for the hat. We're going to connect all the corners. If you ask any questions, I'll try to catch it. I only see two or three people at a time, actually two people at a time when they pop into the room, but that's only if I'm looking at the screen I see it. It doesn't alert me any other way but popping up. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's take that out. All right, we're going to also chop right underneath the nose here. Now, we don't want to do too much there because we have to put the, um, the pumpkin underneath. So, hello, Colleen. So, we're going to just follow our hat around our nose and we're going to recut that a little deeper all right all 
And we're going to do the back side as well. This is a stop cut. If you're new to wood carving, it's a stop cut. These are so nice and simple to do, and there, there are so many varieties of things you can make with, with this. Now I'm going to cut, undercut, and make it a little bit deeper. All right. I want to be a little bit careful with the nose here. I just want to go right around. And it didn't come out quite like I thought. Hello, Beth. Hello, Michael. So, so I think after we have this one done, we have everything for all the different seasons. Um, I have to go back and check, but I'm pretty sure we did St. Patty's already last year. Okay. So I just cut that out a little bit. There we go. Bring this in a little bit. Yes, I do have my hot chocolate with me today, and I put a little bit of mint in it. I do like that. And mint. All right. I'm going to start scooping this out here in the front. We're going to remember we're going to do two side, two sides three sides and then we're going to leave this point up here okay so let's do you can pick whichever side you want i usually let it go to the right when i look at it from the front or it's left okay now i'm going to go to the back side hello blair thanks for joining Enjoy. Uh, Marvin's doing good. I did a little video on him yesterday. Um, believe it or not, he was outside the one night. He didn't want to come back in, so I don't know where he stays. But you know, he's actually a uh, farm cat here. He he pretty well resides outside. He, but every night I let him in if he wants to stay in an overnight, which he usually does. He comes in. So, um, but Marvin's doing fine. Okay, now I'm going to cut the top part of the hat out. Uh, we'll start rounding it off a little bit. Now this we're going to leave it the way it is. Hello, Linda. Hello, Jack. And so we're going to just scoop this out halfway. Okay. And then we're going to do the top and we're going to come back down. And I will probably try to do a traditional hat uh, hat on this guy, on one of these gnomes later on. Um, I plan on doing that. Uh, thank you. I thought he was very cute too. Um, he's a good boy. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this down. We're talking about the cat, Marvin. Scoop this out a little bit more. Alright, here. I'm just shaping up the head right now. And what you want to do is look at it from the front, look at it from the side, see if it's over far enough. You want to get rid of all this hard stuff because if you don't, it's not going to paint right. I know you hear me say that all the time, but that is very true. And I'm going to scoop this out just a tiny bit. Just so that points up a little bit more. Alright. Eh, we're getting there. I'm going to bring this down a little bit more. I'm going to soak it a little bit more with my stuff here. Hang on, I'm going to take a swig of my semi-hot chocolate now. It's delicious with that mint in there. 
So hello, Christine. Um, let me spray this so it's a little easier to carve. Soak it up pretty good. If you're wondering what I use for it, my soaking it, it, it's half water and half rubbing alcohol to 70% strength. You can use a 50%, but then don't put as much water in it. But um, if you get it at the dollar store, a lot of times it's uh, 50%. Yeah, not too much new around here. Thank God I did not have to plow anything, but I heard up in Canada they've really got nailed with snow. And uh, I know Jack and Jenny got a lot of snow. I know my sister got a lot of snow. Um, so it is Canada after after all. They're supposed to get this stuff. No, we got maybe three inches, about two inches, almost three. Two of the three inches disappeared by morning because of the rain, and then it started to freezing rain, and everything's a icy mess if you didn't clean off your driveway, which it wasn't enough to plow. And I don't like to plow here if it's if I don't have to. If it's not over four inches, I don't plow simply because um, it's a gravel driveway and it's hard to plow a gravel driveway all the time. But uh, hello, Lori from Reno, Nevada. Okay, let's scoop this out a little bit more. But I will plow when I have to. I put a canopy up the, over the over the tractor and the rain starts to collect so I had to figure out a way of reinforcing that so the rain doesn't collect. I haven't done that yet. I have to find some of those pool pool noodles are supposed to be very good to keep the rain off of it. I'm placing them underneath in the in the rafters. So I'm gonna give that a try and see if that will work. I'll come up with something. Wow. See, Virginia and down south from us is getting hit. Up north from us is getting hit. But we're pretty lucky. But, you know, we always get one huge storm. I think in 90... Was it 94? We got hit with a lot of ice and, and a lot of snow in 96. I think we had like 30 inches here. It was ridiculous. But that is the way it is. Now for the nose. All right. So we're going to just follow that nose... Out and around. I like to watch it fall too, but I don't like driving in it or plowing it. Plowing isn't the worst thing, but I've gotten better over the years. My dad used to do it. All the time in the last 10 years or so or more than that uh, I've been doing it and um, I got the hang of it I learned a lot with that tractor that I had never knew before I learned some of it from my dad some of my neighbors who have tractors and and uh, and I have a farmer nearby that services it all the time my go-to guy for my tractor and he um, he taught me a lot of what the tractor can do and how to adjust things and things like that. So I was always willing to learn a little bit more how to hook it up. I put a quick hitch on the back. It's got a three-point hitch in the back. But, um, okay, so that's the nose. We're just going to trim that out a little bit. Let me switch this blade. I did a real quick... Um, hang on just a second. Let's see if this one's a little better. Okay. Um, so he taught me a lot about the tractor, and I learned some of it on YouTube. I had a problem one time, and the oil fell out of it because the plug wasn't in right. And it was right before I had to do some plowing, and I went online to see how to fix it, and I fixed it. I was, I was happy about that. YouTube has a lot of good stuff on it to learn. Okay, and this this uh, this video will be up on YouTube as soon as we're done here. So, 
So let's see how we can put this. So what we have here, we've got to draw our little pumpkin in there. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to mark it over here. Actually, a little bit closer. Right there on both sides. It'll give me an idea that it's not going to go too far. And I'm just going to bring it up. This comes up like so, similar to the heart, and then it goes out like this. And then there's going to be a little bit of a stem here, so we're going to just put that right there. I know I drew over that, I cut a little bit out, but that's pretty well it right there. Okay, and that stem can be as long or as short as you want. So I'm going to take my V tool and let me take a look at this. Okay, we're going to take this and we're just going to do a very light cut to follow that line. Okay, it's okay to cut across because just make it match there in the corner. We're going to cut that out further in a second here. And then take this down and around. I actually ordered my free COVID tests from the government today. I was surprised how easy it was. All they wanted was an address and an email. And it has to be a residency for you to get four tests. Two packets of four. So if you haven't done so, it's simple to do. Um, so let's take this and we're going to... Also, we need to put his little hands around it, right? So we're going to put one little hand over here. One little hand over here. I'm going to follow that with the, uh, the V-tool as well. So, um, whoops, that doesn't look quite, <laughs> that doesn't look quite right. I don't know why it doesn't look right. Let me see here. Maybe down a little further. Bring this down a little further here. Okay, that's better. So, if you're interested in getting some, please go online and order them for yourself. It doesn't hurt to have them on hand. I have a couple here already. Um, you notice I'm turning my piece around. I'm not turning my hand around. I'm just kind of circling with moving my carving around instead of my tool. There we go. All right. And then here I'm going to just kind of make it. All right. Good. And that's that little stem that we are going to take out of there. Now this is going to be a little tricky here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and here. And we're going to go around the hand portion of it. That's holding this little pumpkin. Okay. We're going to take this portion out right here. Actually, you can cut it just like so, because that, that's okay for it to be out like that. All right. And same thing up here. We're going to just go in kind of deep. I'm going to bring that corner together where that stem comes. We'll, we'll cut this down a little bit. But we're just trying to get the basic shape out. Hello, Barb and Charlie. And um, I have a bit of a surprise what we're going to do next week. There'll be another critter. And I'll show it to you when we get done here. See, I just pulled that out. See what happened? That's why you shouldn't pull on this stuff. And I tell people not to do it here. I'm doing it myself. So. Oh. Crazy. All right. So we're just going to 
pop that out. All right, just like so. All right, we're going to bring this down a little bit. All right, now over here, we're going to bring this down, the corner down, this part right here, we're going to bring down a little bit. All right, just like so. And we're going to just bring this down quite a bit. That's that stem. All right. And then we're going to cut it over here. We're going to follow it to the top of the hand again. We're going to bring this in. Cut that out a little bit in the corner. Hello, Jerome from Alabama. Thanks for joining us. I've been watching a nice series. I think it was a good series on Netflix. Um, Netflix is uh, Desert Native Survivor. Very good. It's a very good series. I'm on series one, or I mean um, season one right now. If you have Netflix, it's it's really an interesting show. It's about U.S. politics, so if you're not into politics, especially you people up in Canada, eh, you don't have to watch it. But it it's very good. Been watching some really good stuff on net, Netflix here lately. Now I'm trying to get the stem out a little further. Go underneath his. Um... So, okay. So now we're going to bring this down a little bit more towards the stem. Okay. We're going to round this off a little bit more on the sides. You don't have to take a lot off because we're going to give it some depth to it when we do um, these separations in the pumpkin. So this is not a, a real hard um, piece to do. It's okay, good. I'm going to round off the bottom over here. There we go. Hands are a little bigger than I wanted, but that's okay. Now, right here, I'm going to put a little bit of a... Hello, Jack. Jackie. Thanks for letting me know about September Farm tomorrow. I appreciate that. Those of you that ordered, I have a couple orders to go out yet. Uh, today and tomorrow. Um, things are a little bit slow, but uh, the mail seems to be doing pretty good. Now we're going to do the the feet now. The shoes. Alright, I'm going to take, uh, we'll, we'll come back to the uh, pumpkin in just a second. We're going to go over here and we're going to cut out I love the V tool because you don't have to do. You can do this with a stop cut if you want. It just makes it a lot faster and a lot easier to follow your lines with a good sharp V tool. That's the key: a sharp V tool. If it's dull, it's the most frustrating thing to use. Picked one up the other day and I thought, "Oh, this thing's awful," <laughs> and I thought, "Oh, okay, that's it. Got to sharpen it." So we're going to follow this out a little bit again with, we're going to come down. Oh, happy birthday, Nina. Very good. 
A couple people had birthdays today. My neighbor had her birthday today. And, uh, yep. I'm hoping to get some classes done here at the farm again later this year. Things, if things ease up a little bit with the COVID. And if I do, I certainly will post those online. You know, it'll be limited to about four to five people. No more than six can fit there. But um, I have a new room I like to make out in the garage. And I haven't, um, I haven't thought a lot about that. I wanted to do it for a while, but COVID kind of got in the way. And, um, and if I do put an extra room out there, it'll be plenty to put 10 people there. I'd like to get a, a carving club out here somewhere. Uh, yes, Christine, you can order the blanks. I ordered more um, wood. I'm getting a little bit low on wood, but that should come in in about a week or so. Um, I left him a message, so now we're going to round off the back and the bottom here up to the shoe. Boom, just like so. Same thing over here. Um, I have more knives coming in. I was telling you folks last week that this larger knife, um, I will not be able to get this particular one. I only have a couple left. I will get something pretty similar to it with the same two blades will be exactly the same that I can revamp. But the um, this one's going to be kind of pointier, like a toothpick instead of... Um, the way it is. I had uh, other knives sent to me to see if I could add to my collection. I'm going to add, I want to keep the red color, but I can't really do that. So I'm going to pick another one that we can uh, use as a wood carving uh, one. I have one in mind and I'm going to experiment with it. And once I know about it, I'll, I'll let you folks know. Um, I have a bunch of these coming in for the show that I'll have to get ready. Um, for the Lancaster show coming up in in March. Okay, so we have the feet pretty well done. Let me shave this down a little bit more. Move this up and around. So his feet are pretty well done, or his shoes. I do like his shoes to the side. I like them both ways, in the front and in the in the, on the side. I'm going to get rid of this rough stuff before I do the, um, all right, so now we're going to go back over here, I'm going to cut a little more off here, all right, just to round this up a little bit, and then we'll have a little bit more to do on the pumpkin. Now right here, I always like to make that nice and deep and a nice clean cut. Sometimes I go back and just do a little cut just like so. Adds a little depth to it, which is really nice. Um, I'm going to make this a little deeper down here. Hello, Lori. Let me just bring this down a little bit more. Yeah, that's about right. I always want to cut a little more off away from the stem here. Just cut a little bit, cut this back a little bit. There we go. Same thing with this. And I like to cut it so it's nice and clean right underneath the hat. Let me just look at that back here for a sec. All right. 
So all that's pretty well done. Um, I'm going to round the hat off a little bit more. All right. And all that. Okay. We're going to take some more of this rough stuff off. I'll take the rough stuff off the hat when I get offline a little bit more. Now, the same thing with the pumpkin. That's got to come off a little bit more. There we go. This is going to come down just a tiny bit yet. All right. Now, we'll put the pumpkin stuff in here in a second here. Let me just round off his hands a little bit from the back side. We did that deeper cut behind it, so we can just go around like so. All right. I charge by the class. It runs anywhere from $60 to $80 for a class. And, and then your tools come on top of that. But with that... If it's sixty dollars, you get two cutouts for doing one in class, and then you can do one at home. We usually paint it and get it done the same that day. Uh, a lot of the carvers they like to spend their time carving it, and then they like to take it home to paint it. That's also fine to do as well. But uh, it's been a couple of years since I've done any car any classes because of COVID, and um, it really um, and that's why I decided to do these classes because this way you know people that can't come out here as easily are able to watch as well so we're just going to undercut a little bit there we go let me just cut that out there we go and now we're going to round that off a little bit i don't want there we go that's what i'm looking for uh the class usually starts at 8 30 to whenever we're done whether it's three, five, or th five o'clock, it's a full day. I ask people to bring their own lunch. Um, there isn't any places to really go to eat around here, but um, you know they bring their own lunch and, and things. So we have a couple of breaks in between. Yeah. Clean this off here. All right, so that's the pumpkin. Now we've got to put these little lines in. Okay, so how I only put one, let's say I put one, two, three in. So let's do this. From, from the stem, we Put one out over here. We do one out over here, the opposite way. We'll put one down the middle. Now take the V tool, and I can follow this all the way up. And bring this down. All right. And the same thing over here on the outside one. Bring that one up and around. Bring that one down. You notice I always work towards the, set, the side. I don't work from the edge over. I work from the middle out. And then same thing here. We're going to take one like so. Now if you want to give it more of a pumpkin look, you could leave it this way. That would be fine. But you can take a little gouge. Where are my gouges? Of course they're not right here where I left them the last time. Um, where's my small one? Hang on just a second. I don't have it here. I'll be right back. I promise I'll be back. Okay, I have my little gouge here that is this little teeny round gouge. And what I like to do is, let me take a swig of this hot chocolate before it gets really cold. I like to take this little round gouge and just kind of give it a little bit more in the middle of each. Okay, just take it. All right, and we're going to go up this way a little bit. 
See how that's making it look a little different? It has that little crease in it. If you look at a real pumpkin, it does. And one over here. Now you could do it with a V tool, but it will look a little different. If you have a little gouge like this, it works nice for that. Okay, so that's our pumpkin. And then what I do with that one up here, just round it off a little bit, and then I take my little V tool and I just make a couple little veins in it, just like so. I can't see that from there. All right, that's good. Just like so. All right. Now we're almost ready to put, uh, I'll put his little sole in, in his shoes using my V tool again. About an eighth of an inch off, just like so. All right. Same thing over here. All right, now we're going to put a little bit of notches for his little fingers here. So I'm just going to put two in. It's a little easier that way. You want them kind of deep. You want that people to really see that. See how that looks? You can see that. Now, when we make them deep like that, what I'm doing is I'm holding my blade a little bit at an angle on either side. Just poking it like you're doing a small right, uh, triangular cut, just like so. All right, now I want to trim this down a little bit more. It's a little too, too rough for me yet here. Let me just skim that off a little bit in here. There we go. The pumpkin's not real hard to do. It really isn't. So now I'm going to spray it. I'm going to put the put his beard in and uh, we'll be done with this. Yeah. See, these don't take long to do. They really don't. And then I'll show you what we're going to do next week when I get done with this. Whoops, wrong one. V tool. I'm not happy with that. Hang on just a second. All right. Now, we're just going to I've seen a lot of people are starting their critters, which they're doing a great job with it, and they really are. And uh it's fun to see people come up with their own version of the critter. And uh, that works out pretty good. It's very hard to get in there. If you don't clean it out right, you can always take your knife up there to to pop them out. But um, Now I'll turn it around and I'll go towards the hand. You want to just be really careful when you do this. And I'll go to the edge here. I'll just mix it up back and forth. We're going to do another critter next week. It's going to be the birthday critter. And I'll show it to you in just a second here. I'm done. Now you got me started on this. I can't stop. It's like you don't want to do this halfway and just leave it. Okay, so that's how, how that side looks. Let's go on this side. We're going to work towards the edge again. Towards the foot. I think I hear Marvin at the door. He wanted out earlier. About two hours ago. Alright, so that's that. And then we'll go around to the back side. Turn it around, go back up to the hat. 
Doesn't take long to do this with, with a V tool. You notice how I have my thumb up against the That really controls how far you go with your with your piece. You're not gonna be slipping all sliding all over the place with your V tool. It can be a little hazardous with the V tool, but it's a very handy tool. Now let's turn it around, we'll do the back side and we'll almost be done. I'll show you the final result here in a second. Remember, towards the shoe. There you go. Good thing you'll be able to get in there tight. All right, same thing back here. You're going to just go to the shoe a little bit more. There you go. So he's done. That's all that's to doing that critter. So when you go to paint, you're going to do a little green on the stem, the orange, um, flush tone for the nose and the hands, gray for the hat, and black for the shoes. And that's it on that one. So we have a bunch of different critters for different seasons. Now we're going to have a birthday one. I did this one some time ago. So we'll do this one next week. Uh, if you're interested, uh, I'll be here and we'll, we'll do this one next week. And uh, I guess I will call it another carving session today. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me on Facebook or message me. Um, I'll try to answer your questions as they come along. All right, folks, thanks for joining me here. It's a short version of this, but um, we're just going to put some balloons in instead. All right, so take care. And we, um, some people have asked about my, uh, my critters, uh, if I'm selling them for Valentine's, yes. I will probably be open the Saturday before Valentine's, and I'm going to put that up and, and show people. All right. Thank you so much, and take care, and God bless. Bye-bye.